Hello friends! There seem to be two opposing and contradictory narratives fighting each other to try to combine us. The sources have been fractured into two divided alternative realities, where in one reality the president has surrendered, while in another reality he would be on the verge of achieving a decisive victory and astonishing the world. In addition, the truth is usually mixed with a lie to generate confusion, but I do everything I can to separate it. It's to say I do my best, my best about it. Opinion article. Pence rejects impeachment. The impeachment trial begins in Congress. The president believes that they cannot do it. We are at the most critical moment in history. He says it's the biggest with hunt, which hunt in history. Declared a state of emergency in Washington, D.C. Penalty to seven Ukrainians for interfering in the elections. 280 Chinese companies withdrawn for the New York Stock Exchange. YouTube suspends Trump and accuses him of violating its policy. Telegram becomes the second most downloaded application. It's, is, is it a digital concentration camp starting to operate? A barrel reaches an 11-month high close to $57. Gold outperforms the dollar for the first time in Russia's reserves. Bitcoin loses 20% in, of its value in a single day. What it's what is not backed by gold can go up and down just as quickly. The UK Financial Authority advises against investing in cryptocurrencies. UK, UK gives green light to Elon Musk stalling satellite internet service. A Spanish chef revolutionizes food with a cereal grown in the sea. JP Morgan foresees more bank mergers in Spain with Sabadell leading the way. The famous volcano of fire in Guatemala registered up to 12 explosions per hour. NASA's Clipper Space Telescope discovered a strange world with three suns. Simon Parks wants to build a holographic medical bed center in Arizona. France, Germany, Mexico and Australia join the international claim for censorship. Those who speak of social diversity oppose the diversity of opinions in the networks. Let's start. Mike Pence refuses to remove the president and points out that the 25th Amendment is not at all a tool of punishment or usurpation. In quotes. The vice president refused to invoke the 25th Amendment to the Constitution to remove the president, specifying that it is not a tool of punishment or usurpation, in a letter to the Speaker of the House of Representatives sent Tuesday. Penn said that he doesn't believe that the use of the amendments is in the best interest of a nation or consistent or consistent with a constitution. Invoking the 25th Amendment in such a way would be would set a terrible precedent. And quote, the Mr. President wrote, he declared that after the horrible events last week, the administration's energy is directed toward towards ensuring an orderly transition of power, specifying that it is time to unite. The impeachment trial begins in Congress. The House of Representatives began the impeachment session against the President Wednesday. Since Democrats, Democrats are a majority in the House, the vote is likely to pass. Previously, the Democrat David Ciceline said that they have enough votes to guarantee passage of the measure. Defending. The President affirms that attempts to remove him are of zero risk for him. The President declared that the efforts to subject him to an impeachment are dangerous for the United States especially 
at this very sensitive moment, in quote. The President affirmed Tuesday that the attempts to remove him using the 25th Amendment to the Constitution, in quote, are of zero risk for him, warning that the actions in this regard would then persecute his rival like a boomerang. Freedom, uh, on quotes again, freedom of speech is under attack like never before. The 25th Amendment is zero risk for, to me, but the democratic administration will return now. As an old expression goes, be careful what you wish for. He declared during his visit to the city of Alamo in Te Texas. Pre previously, speaking about the impeachment process against him, he said it was the continuation of the greatest witch hunt in the history of politics. In quotes, this impeachment is causing tremendous anger and they are doing it and what they are doing is really a terrible thing, commented the initiative of the democratic legislators. In addition, the president denied any responsibility of, for the assault of the Capitol last week and assured that the comments he made that that time were appropriate. The same people who accused him were the ones who said nothing against the violence of the mask warriors in their respective states. Statement. The Joint Chief of, of Staff condemns the riots in Washington. The Joint Chiefs of Staff, which brings together the highest uniformed leaders of the Pentagon, issued a statement on Tuesday in which it condemned the riots that occurred in Washington on January 6th and classified them as a di direct assault on Congress on the constitutional process. In quotes, the violent riots in Washington, D.C. on January 6th were the, a direct assault on Congress, the Capitol building, and a constitutional progress, process. The, seniors, the senior officials cl claimed, we mourn the deaths of the two Capitol police officers and others related to these unprecedented events, they added. Dozens of members of the National Guard are caught sleeping on the floor of the corridors of the Capitol. Dozens of members of the National Guard were photographed sleeping on the floor of the corridors of the headquarters of Congress on, on Wednesday morning after they will travel to the site to support the Washington Metropolitan Police and the Capitol Police to control the area. They have the right to rest if they do not have a hotel. U.S. sanctions Ukrainians for interfering in their elections. The U.S. government sanctioned seven people and four companies belonging to a Ukrainian disinformation network, network that tried to influence the elections last November. Digital News YouTube suspends Trump and accuses him of violating its policies. YouTube's YouTube has removed the new content that was uploaded to the president's account and has suspended its, its channel for at least a week, saying the channel violated its policy of incitement to the violence. Google launches a $3 million fund to fight disinformation. The Google News Initiative on Tuesday launched a global open fund to combat allegedly wrong information about inoculations worth to uh, $3 million. Worth up to $3 million, I mean. It's quite ironic that many of those who always tell us that we need cultural diversity in our society are also some of the strongest voiced voices against diversity of point of view on social media. Is a digital concentration camp starting to work? It's a question, not an affirmation. The president expelled from digital platforms declared a state of emergency in Washington since January 11th, the White House said in a statement. On January 11th, the media reported that the FBI wants the pro that protests 
are being planned in recent days in all 50 US state capitals, including the Capitol building. An internet provider in the state of North Dakota blocked Twitter and Facebook from its services at the request of some of, his, of its customers in protest that the president was expelled from the platforms last, last week. Social media companies have been deleting accounts and content lately. Telegram becomes the second most download, downloaded application. Last week, interest in the messaging platform Telegram, known for its emphasis on user, user privacy and security, increased dramatically. According to data from the market analysis company Sensor Tower, cited by the Telegraph, the platform became the second most downloaded application last Sunday. Apart from the Telegram, the population of Signal, another messaging application with advanced privacy and security, has dramatically increased. It was downloaded 7.5 million times worldwide between January 6 and 10, 43 times more than the previous week. Such increased interest could have caused by the attack on the application Parler. Rafael Rubalcaba has recommended the Russian social network VK in Spanish or in English on Selena's channel El Quinto Elemento, the fifth element, for being the most independent of censorship in his opinion. The Russian network Bontake has born as a university forum in St. Petersburg in 2006 to become the most popular social network in Russia, Belarus, Ukraine and other Eastern European nations. It has more than 300 million users. France, Germany, Mexico and Australia joined the international clamor for censorship. An international protest is taking place over technological censorship as political leaders from Mexico to Europe express their alarm at the uncontrolled power of the big tech after the purge in the White House. Or the, parch. the United Kingdom gives the green light to Elon Musk's Starlink satellite internet service. The British who participate in the beta phase have already begun to receive their equipment that cost $600 per unit with a monthly fee of $115. It is not cheap. The United Kingdom gave the green light to the new internet service of Starlink, a subsidiary of SpaceX, based on a set of orbiting satellites, the telecoms regulator Ofcom granted Elon Musk's aerospace company in its authorization last November. The British license will allow the company to compete with terrestrial internet providers, such as the BT Group or traditional satellite, satellite companies such as OneWeb. Economy Gold exists, exceeds the dollar for the first time in Russia's reserves. For the first time in history, gold in Russia's international reserves exceeded the value of the dollar, according to the statistic, statistics of the Bank of Russia, published this 11th of January. The Russia Central Bank's statement on the management of gold and foreign exchange assets was published with a customary delay of six months and reflects the composition of the central bank's portfolio in mid-2020. As of June 30th, 2020, the 22.9% uh, um, of the Bank of Russia's assets were fixed in gold and this trend is increasing worldwide. The euro falls to two-week lows the dollar appreciated Monday as the increase in the yield of the treasuries and the speculations of greater fiscal 
of icicle stimulus pushed the greenback against its rivals, while the euro touched a low two weeks. On, Banda, on Monday, January 11th, 2,080 Chinese companies withdrew from the New York Stock Exchange, although they appeared on the exchange screen, but couldn't be traded. It was a swamp cover-up, even though it caused a market crash and Mrs. Pelosi disappeared. Dollar declined leads to gold standard. U.S. economist Peter Schiff predicted the demise of the five dollar standard. The U.S. currency crisis would lead to a new gold standard, the analyst said. In quotes, despite recent weakness, the U.S. dollar has maintained its position as the dominant receive currency, but that statut is in jeopardy, a possibility would be lost. Schiff said. The analyst opined that along, as long as the dollar enjoys that, that status, the Federal Reserve will continue to create billions of dollars for the government to spend. Kennedy was assassinated because he was trying to apply the gold standard and remove, and remove the Federal Reserve. The president signed an executive order in November prohibiting investment in Chinese companies. If if they retaliated, they retaliated, retaliated, the coalition would be ready to destroy the three gogs dump. But I don't want this happens because there is there would die many innocent people. A battle hits an 11 months high near $57. Oil hit an 11 month high on Tuesday, just below $57 a barrel, bolstered by Saudi Arabia's plan to, lim to limit supply. Bitcoin loses 20% of its value in one day. The prices for the most popular cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, fell more than 20% to 32,000 uh, dollars, no, 32,000 dollars, according to stock market data. As I said in another article, what well, is not backed by gold can go up fast, but it can also go down fast. Instead, gold is more stable and doesn't work like a roller coaster. Cryptocurrency investor investors should be prepared to lose all their money in quotes people who invest in cryptocurrencies run the risk of losing all their money the uk's financial conduct authority warned high investment risk anal analysts say are compounded by the activity of some scams spain humanitarian crisis in madrid more than 4,000 residents without electricity during the west cold as snowstorm in 50 years. Those affected among whom are almost 2,000 children have been without electric electricity since last October 2nd. The residents of La Cañada Real have lived without electricity for 101 days. However, the measure which affects almost 4,500 people, has reached an extremely point these days, with the hardest snowstorm that Central Spain have suffered in the last 50 years. And this happened with a supposed socialist government. Excuse me. Five hundred soldiers are working to reduce the damage in Madrid and Toledo. The army has mobilized five hundred soldiers from Madrid, Salamanca and Cordoba to alleviate the damage caused by the storm Filomena in the capital of Spain and in Toledo. In addition, they also have sixty vehicles and thirty graders, loaders, backhoes and dump trucks. 
J.P. Morgan foresees more bank measures in Spain, with Sabadell as the potential protagonist. J.P. Morgan expects anticipate with a very high probability that more measures and acquisition will be undertaken in the banking market in Spain, especially among local players and with Banco Sabadell as the main potential player in an operation led by Santander or BB F oh, um, BBBA. A Spanish chef revolutionizes food with the cereal that is grown in the sea. For the first time, a marine plant that has a marine plant, I mean, that has a multitude of nutrients has been cultivated in Spain. In addition, they consider it as the mo most sustainable crop in the world since it doesn't require additional fertilizers or nutrients. The marine cereal is actually a plant that grows in the sea, an aquatic grass, called Fostera Marina. This reminds me of Jules Verne's science fiction novel 20,000 Le um, Leagues of Under the Sea, where Captain Nemo of the submarine Nautilus grew his foot at sea. As always, science fiction is ahead of the future. Italy and America Crisis of the Government of Italy The coalition of, of government of Italy is reeling because of one of its members, the, the leader of Italia Viva, the former Prime Minister Matteo Renzi, threatens his patroness with withdrawing their support if they disregard his demands on the crisis recovery plan. An affidavit on the election front fraud by the Italian government was delivered to US Congress. They did not conduct an investigation and choose to bury him as usual. The volcano fire in Guatemala registers up to 12 explosions per hour. This Volcano, located about 50 kilometers west of the Guatemala capital, registered up to 12 explosions per hour this Monday and throws ash particles to several nearby towns. Power of lithium in Argentina. Due to its geographical location on the border of Argentina with Chile and Bolivia, the province of Jujuy is strategic. It is at the epicenter of the golden triangle of lithium. The mineral is considered white oil for its use in the manufacture of various powerful batteries and even in medicine for the production of drugs. The use of cannabis for medical purposes enters into force in Mexico. In Mexico, the use, sale and distribution of medical marijuana will enter into force the next day. The respective law was published by the Ministry of Health and the Executive more than three years after its approval by Congress. Astronomy. It has been discovered a strange world with these three suns. A team of astronomers have been able to confirm the existence of a planet by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope in 2009. Thanks to observations of the test mission to search for exoplanets from the space agency, now it has also been possible to know that the star is a world with three suns. Just 10 days after the Kepler mission began, it detected what was thought to be a planet the size of Neptune. The astro orbits a star similar to the Sun but older. Most distant quasar found. A team of astronomers led by the University of Arizona have observed a luminous quasar 
30 million light years from Earth, the most distant quasar discovered to date. It, it dates back 670 million years after the supposed Big Bang, when the universe was only 5% of its, of its current age. The quasar holds a supermassive black hole equivalent to the combined mass of 1.6 billion suns. SpaceX postponed the return to Earth of the cargo capsule Dragon. The private company SpaceX has pos postponed this Monday the return of the cargo capsule Dragon for the International Space Station due to the bad weather conditions in the area splashdown off the coast of Florida. Scientists warn that humankind will not be able to control artificial intelligence. Currently, machines with artificial intelligence perform certain important tasks independently, without the programmers understanding how they learned to execute them. The latest advances in the field of artificial intelligence have made it possible to create robots capable of taking care of household chores, autonomous cars, or software that has managed to solve mysteries for science. However, as more progress is made in this area, scientists are warning of the potential dangers of developing too powerful artificial intelligence. The question is to program it correctly, so it is not dangerous. Can't now. It appears that they have relied on Simon Pax, Robert A. David Still and Charlie Ward to spread intelligence to the people. It is possible that the new elections were held using a quantum computer that identifies voters and tabulates their votes in a transparent sy system that works in seconds. In this case, the new inauguration would be in March. Simon Pax reported that he started the countdown to the math that it has been started, I mean, a countdown to the mass arrests. Pakis has been offered the position to be in Scottsdale, Arizona. Pakis wants to build a healing center where there are holographic medical beds for infants rescued from tunnels. According to Rafa Ball, Simon Pax announces that the arrests have begun and the, that the 18th Parachute Brigade has confirmed this in a tweet. I wonder why Simon Pack's channel is still running when thousands of bra brilliant warriors of light has been removed. According to Mrs. Sierra, it is vital that we question everything and everyone. Don't accept or follow anyone blindly. Not even me. All the school journalism taught me to be objective, not to accept anything at face value. Dig, dig and dig until you find real pearls. There are two explanations as to why Simon Pax and Charlie Ward are still on YouTube. First, the coalition could be using them as a knowingly spread a mixture of truth and misinformation. Second, they could be working with the knowledge of the aliens. Either way, it's wise not to hang up to anyone's every word at this point. There are 15,000 military personnel in Washington DC and Pennsylvania Avenue has been blocked. The army was prepared for the arrest of the leaders of the mask. There would be two phases of arrests from now until January 19 and for from January 19 to the next 90 days. The army was collecting evidence from the political elite who would conspire with foreign nations. Perhaps we are at the most critical juncture in history. The president is fully aware of the seriousness of this period of time. John Raymond, head of the Space Force, and the mastermind behind the world broadcasts satellite would give the president direct access to citizens 
that no media company could censor. The Space Force has a technological power capable of overriding every television signal around the world. We have been preparing since before 2015 for this exact moment. The operation is on the way, but you must remain silent at this time. According to Julian Assange, when everything is exposed, 98% of Washington would fall. According to Juan Osabin, Juan Osabin, when all is said and done, 95% of the government would disappear. But that is only personal opinions. Swamp drainage essentially has to start with removing the octopus head before removing its puppets from top to bottom. The swamp is the top 1% of the population that owns more than half of the world's wealth. It is a network of extremely powerful individuals that control almost everything around us. According to Mike Adams, the president would be winning in an unconventional war strategy. According to the existing contradictory misinformation, the president would have surrendered, while in another alternative reality, he would be about to achieve a decisive, a decisive, a decisive victory and astonishing the world. The president declared on January 11th that an emergency exists in the District of Columbia and ordered further assistance to supplement the district's response efforts, response efforts due to an emergency condition resulting from the 59th presidential inauguration on January 11-24. If J.B. did not take office on the 20th, the extremists would carry out an attempted siege of the color revolution in Washington, D.C. But thanks to these maneuvers, there are 15,000 soldiers in place with the support of the Democrats and the media. When the president announces the insurrection law, all the troops of the National Guard will be federalized under his command. Sources say Democrats would be, have been tricked into supporting a massive troop building up in DC, but they wouldn't actually be under this command. Mike Adams adds that false flag, false flag operations are feared to further demonize patriots and set the stage for confiscation of weapons. But that's only a personal opinion. Although they may attempt a scare event in the next few hours or days, there will never be an actual detonation. The Galactic Federation has categorically declared that there will never be another detonation in this universe. It is a universal law decreed by the Prime Creator. Is humanity, is humankind ready to move to a higher state of existence along with the responsibility for, of his own? Or we will get stuck in the childhood stage of struggle and suffering? That's only questions. Listen to your heart. Your intuition will always guide you. It will never lead you astray. It's, if something is not right for you, then it is not suitable for you. It doesn't matter what other people say. Always listen to your heart. That is my wish for all of you. Thanks a lot, dear friends.